trees in New York City. Hot I topic. Love, I love hot, lots of trees in New York City, but yeah. my guess is it's not as simple as just having a tree at your house in New York City. Right. Very complicated, and it's a very big topic in New York City. So I believe it was the Bloomberg administration. Um, they said that they were going to plant a million trees in New York City. Uh, but the truth of the matter is they're not planting any trees. As builders build homes and as homeowners like yourself maybe do extensions, um, the city is requiring you to plant trees in the front. Now, initially it sounds like a great idea, but we have a lot of stuff at the curb, right? We have utility poles, we have curb cuts, we have hydrants, and they want one tree every 25 feet that you own. So if you own a 100-foot wide property or a 50-foot wide property, you need four trees or two trees. Now, what happens if you can't fit those trees? Well, they're going to tell you, the New York City Parks Department, which has more power than the mayor of New York, where to plant those trees in someone else's property and give a two-year guarantee. If you don't want to do that, they've established something called the New York City Tree Fund, uh, also a very politically charged um, thing the city has created, where you could pay to not install trees at over $2,000 a tree. This tree fund has generated millions of dollars for the city of New York. Um, so there's a big difference between site trees, which are trees on your property, and street trees, which are the trees we were just speaking of. What about the, like, are there types of trees? Yes. So the city will also tell you the type of tree to plant. Um, and it's all through the permitting process of getting your house built and things like that. Um, you'll have a separate approval just from the parks department that you would have to satisfy in order to get the certificate of occupancy for your home. Is the type of tree, does the aesthetic of that block, does the type of tree impact what you can put based on everything? I assume they'd yes. want everything to be. Depending on what's happening on that block, like if there's some overhead lines, the parks department will spec out a tree that is that won't grow as tall and maybe grow a little bit shorter, not to affect all of the so utility you're lines be and things told like that. By the city, this is the tree. This is the spot tree, and the type of tree, tree. and guarantee it for two years. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. Now, on retrospect, there's something called site trees, which are trees on your property. Um, in most cases, as long as the tree is within a certain amount of footage from your house or your foundation, you can take down the trees and do as you wish. But there are some special districts throughout New York City where the trees on your property are also protected. So sometimes before you buy a home, you should really speak to an architect or engineer to see how um, difficult it will be to get approval to remove those trees to build a home. I've been involved in projects where people could not build the way they wanted to build because we had to protect the tree and where it was located. I've seen trees in New York City that are on property, but the roots start going into the sidewalk. Yes. Who is responsible? Is the homeowner responsible for that? The homeowner is. Okay. There is a program through the city of New York where they will come and fix those flags of concrete. Um, but if you do it yourself, you can just be careful because if you damage that tree, which may be owned by the city, there could be fines attached to hurting the tree.